I believe I'm going to continue the Raptor 660 teardown as soon as I clean up the side of the garage and try to get this KX60 out of the way. I'm still waiting on my mail. should be here soon. Um, I should have the piston and rings and gaskets and clutch cable coming for today. As long as I have all that, I'll have the whole bike rebuilt, broken in within about the next two hours if I have all those parts. And then once that's all done, I'll put this one in the shed and then I should have my back plastic coming from my other one. But anyway, yeah, I got to clean up this whole garage and put the 660 in the middle like I always do and just tear it down, the whole suspension on it. Uh, here she is, got it all the wiring off except for the key and the neutral reverse and uh, Fahrenheit light. Oil tank is still on it, and besides that, the rest of the suspension is the only thing on it. You can see the suspension's good. I love having removable subframe bikes. I just love it. But, uh, yeah, the rear suspension looks so small without a subframe on it, but wheels are the ones with the ring on it, which I like, so I can paint them. Uh, I think the backs are tens, which that would be nice, but what are you going to do, even if they're not? Um, took the front bumper, everything off. It's cold AF. I don't know why I keep saying AF. I always sound like a faggot. Um... Uh, we got the carb here. For some reason, I think the throttle cable's broken. I'm not sure. But I don't really care right now. Uh, can and air filter still seems to be in good shape, so I'll probably just clean it up and leave it. Um, this is for the YFZ450. WD40. I got the rear grab bar, reverse cable, headlight brackets, and rear taillight for uh, the Raptor right there. I have the carburetor cover. I have the front brake master cylinder and front line all the way down to where it splits. Kill switch. Uh, CDI voltage regulator and a starter solenoid. Got the coil over there. Um, I know I have some other stuff for it on the pegboard. I got my clutch perch right over there. Headlights, motor. I ordered the new transmission. Came out to be two hundred and fifty, two hundred fifty one dollars. I was trying to just change the gear, so I labeled everything. Outer, inner, all that, where it goes, where everything goes. And then I realized you can't take apart the main shaft, you can only take apart the counter shaft. So therefore, it's pretty much a waste of time for me just to fix the counter shaft, because I can't even find just the main shaft. So I just bought the entire tranny with the forks and everything. Even though I don't need any of that, but that's all they had. As far as the crank goes, crank's in great shape. So is the, uh, so are the cases and uh, the bearings. She spins perfectly. Crank's not bent or anything. So basically what I have on order right now is new piston rings, new gaskets for everything, new clutch, because I might as well put a new clutch, I'm already here, um, transmission, and that's about it. If the cam has any wear on it, I didn't inspect it, I'm just going to throw a hot cam in it. Um, this is all the cylinder stuff, bolts the piston over here, it's in great shape, I decarbonized it yesterday. Um, my measuring gauge, the battery went dead, but just by looking at it, it looks like an OEM piston, so I just ordered a standard 100 millimeter ring set. So that's 100 millimeters is the size of a standard 660 piston, if anybody's wondering. But yeah, the cylinder's nice and good. The still plating's good. All the gears and everything I still got. So yeah, wish me luck on this build. That's about it on the 660. You got the subframe, the gas tank over here, radiator, everything else over there, label the wiring. Yep, I got the seat over there, the plastics over there. What do I want to do really quick? I just want to uh, take the piston back out of the cylinder. Really quick, and just make sure it just goes right in. See, here it is. Yep, goes right in and out. So I'll be fine with that. Um, I'll go back out to the bike. Got my gloves on because it's just cold. Uh, front tires hold there. The back seem to be leaking, but I don't really care right now. The frame's down that bad of shape now that I look at it, but <clears throat> I'm already at this stage. All I have is the front end and the rear end, and then I'll pretty much have the whole thing apart. So I really don't care. I'm probably just going to do a red frame, black ARs, black swing R, red, no, I can't do a red carrier, uh, black axle, maybe red sprocket hub, uh, red hubs, black wheels, red rig, you guys know the way I do this stuff. All set and done, I should have about $1,200 into it, right now I got about a grand into it, including the purchase price from all the shit that I bought for it yesterday. I also ordered a chain and sprocket set, because the sprockets are good, but I don't have a chain, chain's 30 bucks, so I just spent 50 and got chain and sprockets. And, uh, yeah, shocks are good. Everything like that's good. I just cannot wait till she's done. Maybe I'll just build it nice for myself. There you go. Talk to you guys later.